just want to say hello and welcome. Now this is Nate. Hopefully the sun will cooperate with me a little bit. I got this really, really nice four bedroom, two bath home with 2,200 square feet. Now this home is available with a 912 or a 1212 roof pitch. You can get with that 912, 1212 roof pitch, you can get up to 1,200 more square feet of living space. So you can get a lot more space added to this home if this 2,200 square feet isn't enough for you. Now I know y'all are wondering, okay, where can I find this really nice home that you're talking about? Well, you can find it at Homes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina. Now I would normally go around the backside, but unfortunately there's not a lot of room on the backside. I can't quite get to the backside of this one. So without further ado, I guess we should probably head on in. I know y'all are gonna really like this one once we get inside. In fact, we've got this front porch that we gotta take a look at real quick. And the sun's not really cooperating at the moment. We have this half glass window in your door. Like I said, the sun's not doing the best of job cooperating with me, so once we get inside, we'll get some better shots. Now you can get a better shot of the, uh, the door there. And then I got to point out in this home, you've got this really, really nice LVP flooring. I mean, this one's just like the whole home. Really nice. And we've got this great big living room area here. But we're going to start with the entertainment center, as I usually like to do. Now that is a large area. You can fit just about any size TV in there. We've got a nice shelf here, so you can stand your TV on there, set your receiver on there, hang your TV on the wall. You got plenty of room down below for all those uh, items also. Of course, not your TV, but you know what I mean. Of course, we got the ceiling fan. But now this is a wide open floor plan, so it makes this home feel even bigger than its 2,200 square feet. And these are nine foot ceilings. So this, with this wide open floor plan, the LVP flooring with no seam down the marriage line really makes this home feel even larger than it is. You've got seating for four at this really large island here. Check out these light fixtures. Two great big drawers. Of course, I don't think that one's a drawer, but of course the stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. And check out the size of this sink. Let me move some stuff around here. We got cutting board. And of course, you know your sink over there. Okay, so lots of accessories to go with your sink here. 
course, I know I was making way too much noise for you all to hear me the first time. Of course, the Springer faucet. All right, enough about the sink. We got all this counter space over here with all these cabinets, pots and pans, doors underneath your stove, the glass hood, your tile backsplash runs all the way up to the ceiling here. Really nice cabinets around your stove here with soft closed doors. I like the fact that they're glass. You can see where all your spices and things like that are without even, before you even open it in case you got them stacked on both sides. That way you know which cabinet to get into. And then we've got our stove and our microwave. Now it's not too far away from the oven. Or <laughs> I got that backwards, you know that? We got our oven and our microwave not too far away from our stove over there. So that's a really nice thing. You know, it kind of helps keep the flow going and you can do all your work or prep work right here. Looking out this great big window. And then once all that's done, we can come over here to this really nice glass top dining room table. Now, of course, this isn't going to come with the home, but let me just point out. That is a very unique, very nice looking glass top table. Recessed lighting up above your table here. Two great big windows over there, giving you a large dining room area. And then we have the buffet counter with a place to store all your dishes up above it. Cabinets down below, and I don't think I ever open any of these cabinets. And of course, the first one I open has got a there we go. So in the buffet counter, I never open any of the cabinets, it seems like. But this is really nice looking. All right, we're not going to go to that door over there. We got to go to this one. Of course, there's our back door. Now, like I said, I couldn't get to the back side because they got a porch that runs along here because they're office is right outside so washer and dryer hookups really nice counter space in here they went with the dark cabinets in here once again soft closed doors nice to see a sink and then once again that same flooring all the way throughout the home here Now we got to go way over there to the other end of the home. So now as we come down the hallway here, the first thing you're going to see is your guest bathroom. Now this is a really large bathroom for being the guest bathroom. Now as I did, in the case I didn't mention it, this is a four bedroom. So you're going to need a lot of counter space if you've got kids in every one of the bedrooms. Great big vanity mirror and hello Raiden. So we just got one single light above the sink there, but as you can see it's putting off a lot of light there. In fact, the there we go, get the camera to, to uh, get back in sync. The LED lights, they, you know, most people don't realize LED lights actually flicker. They're not a solid light. So sometimes you'll see lines develop in the, when I'm filming. That happens to be because the LED lights, the camera getting out of sync with them. So once again, we've got that soaker tub for the shower tub combo here. Of course, your toilet area back there. And then we have a linen closet in your guest bathroom. And we have a computer desk area, or desk area if you want to call it, just that. Got nice cabinets on each side. 
couple up above so your kids can sit here and do their homework that kind of stuff or I could be there editing videos who knows we're gonna get well before we go into the bedrooms how about we check out this coat closet right here slash broom closet because this is probably where you're gonna put your broom and your vacuum because of course you're gonna have to have a vacuum for the uh, carpets in the bedrooms Really nice sized bedrooms here. Now this one is definitely bigger than the one I was just came out of. So this is a really large bedroom. In fact, if I was to guess on the measurements, I would say this is as big as a lot of master bedrooms in some of the other homes I have previously filmed. Now, not saying the ones I filmed here, but ones I have filmed in the Northwest. So this is a really large bedroom. And then bedroom number three. And I want to say this one is slightly larger, but that's probably because that window kind of steps out a little bit. Just kind of gives you this, you'd be surprised how much six inches will add to the feel of a room. And with this one, you get a much larger closet. In fact, a full walk-in closet here. So I guess that only leaves one more area to go, and I'm sorry I'm going through this a little faster than what I would normally would. It's getting later in the evening. They're starting to get a lot more customers coming in. Now we do have a really large master bedroom. Like I said, that other bedroom was as big as most master bedrooms are in some of the other homes I've filmed. So this one is just really large. Once again, you've got that little step out for the window. Now we got to come check out the closet. Now this is a, another large closet. Of course, you've got the wire racks. You can always option in the, uh, the wooden racks. That little corner right there, that's going to be your water heater access. And the air conditioning just kicked on. And I'll tell you, I was standing right in front of one of the vents. Felt really good. Coming into our bathroom, and I can't remember if I did it or not, so we're going to say hello to Raiden. If I did, well, now you get it twice. I know you're missing me anyway. Today is Tuesday. I've only been gone for two and a half days, but uh, I'm going to be gone for a week, and he's been missing me already. <laughs> Doesn't want to get off the phone when I call him at night. So we do have a pony wall over here in our toilet area. Of course, we got recessed lighting above each of your sinks here. And I, I didn't point out the drawers on both sides. And then once again, some really nice flooring in here, different from the rest of the home. And then we come up to this really big marble tile shower. Now I know some people come up with a bunch of words to, you know, 
they're more descriptive and stuff instead of saying really nice and big. It's just not the way I talk. I, <laughs> I try to, but I always, you know, brain fart when I try to come up with uh, other words. So I just stick with what flows. But I do like the size of this shower. Of course, we have the wand behind me. You got separate faucets for each one of your shower heads. And with that, I want to see a separate comment from each and every one of you down in the description below. Well, technically not the description, but in the comment section. Yeah, there we go. How about you all leave me a comment down there? Let me know. What do you think? I mean, look at this. I mean, isn't that such a grand view? Or you come over here. Let me know what you think of the home. While you're there, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Get notified when I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll see you all on the flip side here as soon as I, well, I told you I'd see you on the flip side. <laughs> Anyhow, I just had to flip the camera over, you know how it goes. So I wanted to give you some price information. Of course, we've got to do the disclaimers. This is at Homes by Vanderbilt. They only service the North Carolina area. The price information that I have is at time of filming in October of 2022. There could be other city, county fee regulations, things like that, depending on where you have this home set up and delivered, could be even some extra freight charges. The price, base price on this home comes in at $242,000. This home as shown comes in right around $301,000 according to the list price over there. And if you wanted that extra 1,400 or 1,300 square feet up above by going with the 1212 roof pitch, that is an extra $25,000 price tag on top of the 301 that you're already seeing. And of course, there's a slightly cheaper option of going with the 712. You know, I just didn't look at that one, but I figured I'd give you the higher priced one so you kind of know. And once again, I hope you all are leaving me a comment, hitting the like button, that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.